Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video I'm going to show you how to reset the BIOS password on a Asus motherboard. So we are in front of the monitor, I'm going to turn on the computer and after a few seconds I'm going to see this message which is enter password and of course I don't have it. If you have noticed I, don't, I was not even asked to press F2 or Dell to get access to the BIOS because this kind of password works from the beginning. So you turn on the computer and right away you are going to be asked for a password. So if you don't have it, you cannot technically do anything. You don't have access to anything. So I don't have the password. I'm going to turn off the computer and I'm going to change my camera view to the motherboard itself. So allow me a few seconds to adjust the camera. Okay, here we are. I, after I shut down the computer, I'm going to disconnect the cord from the power supply. And next, I'm going to touch the case so I can get rid of any electric, electric, static electricity that I might have in my body. After I have done that, now we can see that this is an Asus H110M, which supports an M2 SATA SSD which is connected, as you can see here. Now, let me show you around. Uh, well, you can see this is an Asus. You see the fan for the, for the processor, and all the cabling, my uh, cable management. Here, you can see the power supply and the optical drive. Now, uh, we are, in order to, uh, as I mentioned, I'm using an uh, M2 SSD. And in order to uh, do a reset, uh, action on this motherboard in order to reset the BIOS password, I have to look for something like this. CLRTC or Clear Real-Time Clock, which is the one that holds the information set up such as date, time, and system password. So this is the one we have to clear. However, we don't have a jumper like we have done in a previous video or some videos ago on a Dell uh, computer. So if you want to watch that with a jumper, uh, you can see it in the top right of this screen. So in order to do that, we are going to we need to short these two pins. As you can see, there are two pins. I'm going to show you, show you again in a few seconds. And uh, to short two pins or to short is means to short circuit. In general, this means to connect two different parts of a circuit together. This is usually not a good thing. It often leads to an error, but the reason you are going to do that with, with these two pins and with the screwdriver is to trigger some kind of reset action. Uh, so this is what we need to do. And you have seen the same when you press the reset button on your computer when this one is frozen. So that's what it happens. That's what we have to emulate now. Maybe emulate is not a good word. We have to recreate this process of reset. Now, you can see me pointing the two pins. As you can see here, we have two. In other words, we have to make them close together. We, we have to join them. Not forever, just for a few seconds. And in order to achieve this, we're going to use a flathead screwdriver, as you can see here. And we are going to proceed, uh, well, doing that. Now, I'm going to place the head of the screwdriver, which is made of metal, some kind of metal, so uh, that's important. In the middle, oh, I'm shaking for some reason here. <laughs> uh, in the middle of the two pins, and I'm going to twist it a little, just a little. You, you don't have to put a lot of force here. Uh, just make sure the two pins are touching each other through the screwdriver. And then for, leave it that way for uh, five, 10 seconds, and that's pretty much it. And after that, we, uh, we don't need the close up uh, anymore. We are going to connect the core to the power supply and we are going to start the computer one more time and see what happens. OK, as you can see, the computer is on now. And now I'm going to move the, the camera one more time. Give me a few seconds. I'm going to start the computer. And we didn't see this at the beginning. So this is a new screen. So we have to press F1, as you can see in the bottom left. And now we have access to the, to the BIOS to the BIOS UFI. Give me a few seconds to adjust the, uh, my, my camera. My arm is a little, it's not, it's not the best. Uh, now, as you can see here, uh, if we go to advanced mode, we click on it. And then in a few seconds, I'm still struggling with the camera. And then we are in main. And if we, if we scroll down, we are going to find security. So we're going to click on it, and here we have 
uh, there are the two kind of password, admin password and user password. So we are going to read. If only the administrator password is set, then the, this only limits access to setup and the only it's only asked when you are entering setup. So in other words, if you put the administrator password, you enable it, uh, they are disabled. If you can see, it says not installed. Uh, if we, I enable this, we are going to, um, when we need to access the BIOS, we're going to be asked for a password. But if we enable the user password, we are going to be asked for a password from the beginning. So this is what is configured at the moment. So that's why when, when we used to turn on the computer automatically a few seconds ago, a few seconds after that, we will see uh, a pop-up asking for a password. So they are not installed right now because we have made the reset process, but I'm going to click it again. So I'm going to create an easy password, one, two, three, five. Minimum three letters, maximum eight, I believe, and no, 20, maximum 20. Now you can see user password installed. It wasn't that way before it was not installed. Now uh, we don't have anything else to do. So I'm going to quit from this screen. X, I'm going to click on exit and save changes and reset. So reset means that after we have saved it, the system is going to restart. I don't know what it says. You have not made any changes. I have done changes. So now, uh, the system is restarting. Now we have the same screen, uh, uh, enter password, and I'm going to type one, two, three, four, five. And now we can see the ASUS logo. And uh, here the, the video is accelerated and we have access to Windows. So I'm going to change again to the motherboard. Uh, the computer is running, as you can see it, and I'm trying not to touch any electronics. But if this process did not work, I, uh, I, I advise you to try it two or three times. But if after that it still doesn't work, you have to take out the battery, okay? So this is the battery over here that you can see, and you can replace it. If you want to see how to replace this battery, it's really easy. I'm going to leave it, the link in the description below of another video where I do where I do exactly that and troubleshooting an old computer. But it's really easy to take out and leave it out for a few seconds. Here I'm going to touch with my finger the fan. Uh, fortunately, it's a plastic fan, so I didn't harm myself, but... <laughs> Those are one of the stupid things I do for some reason, like keeping this computer on while I show you. So if you want to see this video, I'm going to leave it in the comment section below so you can check it out how to do it. Uh, but in this case, we didn't have the need to do that. It all works with only shorting the pins. So that's what I wanted to show you today, guys. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any comment or question, leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, uh, please smash that subscribe button and the bell notification for future videos. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.